Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are talking about the perfect three calendar system that'll work for you and your family to share your calendar events. Now, I don't know about you, but I live and die by my calendar. If there's an event on there, I will be there. If it's not, I'm probably not gonna show up. So today I'm gonna show you the system that me and my wife have built that I think is gonna work great for you. All right, so here you can see our three calendars. I've got my personal calendar here. We've got our joint family calendar here. And I can see my wife's calendar here. You'll see it's relatively simple. We've got three colors here. I can edit anything that's in my own personal calendar here. So clearly I can adjust this. I can make whatever changes I need to do. I can also edit anything that's in the joint calendar. So right here, I could edit this if needed, but I'm not going to do that. However, for my wife's calendar, I cannot edit it. I can't do anything because I don't own that calendar. So that's why this is the perfect three calendar system for us, because I know that yellow events are things that I need to do. I know that blue events are shared calendar events that the two of us are going to be involved in. And I know that purple events are hers. And I don't necessarily need to be at those, but I do have visibility into them. So to get started with this method, let's talk about sharing calendars first. So what I will do is click on the three dot menu, click settings and sharing. And here at the bottom, you can see add people in groups. When you click on that, you will be given a menu here where you can add the name or another Gmail account or something like that, where you want them to be able to have a viewing access into your calendar. So here, when this menu pops up, you've got a few different options. In the email name category, you can add the Gmail account that you want to share your account with. And then you've got a couple different permissions here. There are four different options. You can show your calendar friends, but purely as busy, which we're not going to do in this particular case. We can see all of the event details, which is what we will do to share a view only. Or you can allow them to make changes or have sharing capabilities if you want them to have joint ownership. So in this particular case, we're going to click see all of it. Team deals, we will add the name and we would click send. That person will then receive an email allowing them to add this calendar. So once you've shared your individual calendars, the next step is creating a joint or shared calendar. Maybe it's the Jones family calendar or something like that. To get started with that, you're going to click into the settings menu and we are going to add a calendar here. So when you click on the left, you click add calendar. We will create a new one, but we're going to call this the Smith family and we're going to create that calendar. It's going to take a few seconds, but once that's built, now we're going to go and do the exact same share settings with everyone in your family or whoever you want to share this calendar with. But the thing is, we're going to give them full view and edit capabilities. So now that we've got this here, you can see Smith family over here on the left. I can click down here to click add people in groups again. And now what I'm going to do is when I share it with these people, I'm going to allow them to make changes and give them sharing ability. The sharing ability is optional. You don't have to give everyone in your calendar the ability to share it. But this is going to allow everyone within this joint calendar to be able to view and edit any of that they would like. So once you've got your three calendar set up here, I've got my personal calendar, my wife's calendar and the family calendar. You might want to change the colors of those calendars to make them easily distinguishable. Now you can do that by simply clicking on the three dot menu and choosing a new default color within the Google Calendar system. But there's actually a better way, especially if you care about the aesthetics of what your calendar is going to look like. I personally like the website Colors or Coolers. I don't know. Say it how you want. But it's a really great way to create different custom color palettes. So here you can just keep clicking spacebar until you find the palette that you like. Or you can navigate over here into the Explore tab and choose a set of colors. So let's say we're going to use this color palette. What you'll do go ahead and grab the color that you need. You need a hex code. Copy that. Then when we go over here into the calendar, you'll click the three dot menu, click this add custom color icon, and we will paste in that color code. And there you go. I just took a custom color palette that I found online 
and applied it to my Google Calendar. And the thing is, these colors will actually maintain themselves as you go into other apps. So if you load into Apple Calendar or into Fantastical, it'll remember these colors. So now that you've got these calendars set up, these are not going to show up by default in those calendar apps. So let's talk about how you're going to add these shared calendars into Apple Calendar and Fantastic. The thing is here, as I pull up Apple Calendar and you see, I'm blurred out all the information because we keep our calendar events very detailed. We have addresses, contact information. We share it with all the guests. It's a great way for us to have insight into each other's calendar and the things that are happening on a day to day basis. So let's talk about how we get those shared calendars into Apple Calendar. So when you first log into Apple Calendar, you might have the brand new shared calendars that you just added, but you most likely won't. So let me show you how you're going to add those. You're going to go up into Calendar and click Settings. And here you're going to click Counts. And here, normally it'll default to Account Information, but if you Drill into delegation here. You can see the other shared calendars here. So you can see our family calendar. You can see my work calendar, my wife's calendar. Once you check the boxes for the calendars that you want to add into Apple Calendar, it'll take just a few minutes and then they will start to appear. Now, if you're a fantastic Cal user just like me, it works almost the exact same way. So let's show how you can do that. Okay, so here we are, we are in Fantastic Cal. You can actually see my calendar looks a little bit different here because it's actually pulling in my Apple reminders into it, which the other apps are not. I've got a video on that, which I'll link down below in the description. But if you wanna add your shared calendars here, it's quite similar. We're gonna go into Fantastic Cal, into the settings. We're gonna click into accounts. When you click on your Gmail account, you can click manage delegates and from here, you can see all of the shared calendars that you have access to, anyone that's been shared with you, anyone that you're sharing with others, and you have the ability to check the boxes for the ones that you want and add them. It's gonna take a few minutes for you to click the box and have those sync in all of your events, but just be patient, it will happen. So that's the three calendar system that I've built. I've got my personal calendar, our shared family calendar, and my wife's calendar. It's relatively simple and I have loved simplifying the process down from when I used to have 10 calendars down to just three now. So I hope you'll try this out. Let me know if you've got other questions and I will see you in the next one.